Welcome to the Immigrant's Way podcast with the immigration attorney, Margaret W. Wong, with over 40 years of experience. Enjoy. Wawa is a situation where either a woman or man was hurt, either physically or mentally. So when I file the Wawa case with immigration, I either have to prove if it's physical damage or mental damage. How do I prove physical damage? I need at least one police report, if not more. I also need medical report, if at all possible, to show the cuts, to show the wound, where was I hurt. So now I file with a 360, my story, my uh, all my medical records. It could be um, a therapist report also. Or if I want to prove mental, same form 360 plus my affidavit, which is my story and proof of all that. But more than that, I need a therapist or psychologist report because I have no physical harm. I need to show mental harm. All right. There are two ways to do Wawa case. One way is when you're already arrested by court. Let's assume I go to court to report my uh, living partner, be it a male or female. Then the court, they do that all the time. You'd be amazed what they do. They call it ICE. ICE pick me up thinking I'm nuts because they don't care. You know, this is Homeland Security people. For them, Homeland is everything. So now I have to, uh, now I'm stuck in jail. So for me to get her or him out of jail, we have to go um, file a bond and explain. But in order to get that uh, 42B, you need 10 year cancellation. But under abuse case, you can do a three year cancellation, which is the beauty of a Wawa case. But in order to do Wawa, I have to have married my partner, even though same sex or opposite sex. It has to be either mental or physical. I could not say, well, you know, he's always, uh, or she's always bad mouthing me, but I never saw a psychologist. Uh, you know, I don't want to hurt her, uh, this and this and this. Now, then another way to do it is what we call the U visa. U visa as a victim of crime, that the two regulations is very important. Number one, there has to be a crime. What is a crime? That means that he or she actually did threaten me or use a knife on me or use something on me, but even though no weapons, no unconcealed weapons, unlicensed weapons, the still have to be a crime. So I have to report the crime. Number two requirement is that the law enforcement people have to sign off. Who are law enforcement? It could be local police, it could be FBI, it could be US Attorney's Office. It could be a police, a sheriff's office. It can be a district director. So anybody who have a law enforcement, it could be labor department, because if they underpay me and there's a group of us, the labor department may or may not step in, but you need someone who has law enforcement to sign it and authorized by the whole department. That's a U visa. The form to sign is 918. If I'm the principal uh, victim of crime, I sign the 918. If I have other undocumented situation, I need a pardon, a waiver, which is I-192. If I need a work permit, I also need to attach 765. Different law firms work differently. Sometimes to save my clients money, you, you don't even file a work permit. You wait for the approval and now you file the work permit. I personally like to file two types of work permit. I want to see uh, the 14 and the 19. 14 is the two years. So sometimes if I'm lucky, there's no more numbers, but at least immigration think they would approve this case pending numbers. They'll give me two years. But under Trump, they don't give two years anymore. But now Biden is back. So we may get our two years back. We don't know yet because he's only there for a few weeks. If not, you also filed a four year one, which is a 19 and 20, which means that you get the four years. Three years after you get the four years work permit, you can apply for green card. So in, in a short synopsis, that's a Wawa and that's a UV sign.